morning, everybody. Hope you are all staying safe at home. And for class 9th, I'm going to take Health and Hygiene Unit 8. And let us step into the lesson. Okay, as we all know, food is the basic need for life. We can even survive without clothes or shelter, but we cannot survive without food. So food is the basic need for each and every organism in the world. Okay, so just taking food is not important. We have to take nutritious food. Nutritious food means it contains carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals, etc. As you know, you have already uh, learned in your earlier classes, 6th, 7th, 8th, you have know, we have came to know that carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins, minerals, everything is very necessary for your life to grow up. Okay, but these things are now we are going to see about these things in detail. What are carbohydrates, what are pro proteins, what are vitamins? Okay, let us see about this in details. So, classes of nutrients. What, is, what I mean is, nutritious food contains these things, okay? Carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals and mainly water, okay? Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are organic compounds composed of carbon, hydrogen and water in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 1, okay? And it is the chief source of energy and especially in our country, we take rice as main food, okay? So in rice, which is important, carbohydrates is the main component of rice. So we people of Tamil Nadu have carbohydrates as our main constituent of our food, okay? So what are seen in the carbohydrates, edible sugar, starch, cellulose are few examples for carbohydrates, okay? And one, one more example is glucose is a monosaccharide. There are three types of carbohydrates, monosaccharides, polysaccharides, okay? Uh, there are three types, I, I'll, monosaccharides, disaccharides and polysaccharides, okay? I will give you the example for monosaccharides. Example for monosaccharides is glucose, fructose and galactose. Example for disaccharide is sucrose, lactose and maltose. Example for polysaccharide is amylose, amylopectin, starch, cellulose, hemicellulose and glycogen. Okay, so carbohydrate is the basic content of our food, food items. It contains carbon, hydrogen and oxygen and there are three types of carbohydrates, monosaccharides, disaccharides and polysaccharides and I have given the example of those three. And sucrose is found in honey. Okay, let me explain where we get these things up. Okay, sucrose is found in honey, sugar cane and fruits, starch. Starch is found in rice, potatoes and bread and glycogen is stored in our liver and muscles. Plant cell wall is made up of cellulose and other complex organic compounds. Okay, these things are sucrose, glucose, glycogen are seen in these kinds of uh, materials. And next one we are going to see is protein. Protein is the essential nutrients for the human body. Okay, it is very important for our human body than carbohydrates. Okay, they are the building blocks of our body tissues. Okay, very important building blocks of our body tissues are proteins. And also cake serve as a fuel for our metabolism. As a fuel, protein provide maximum energy than carbohydrates and fats. Okay. Carbohydrates can provide only 4 calories per gram and lipids can provide 9 calories, okay, protein lipids can provide 9 calories per gram. The important aspect in defining characters of protein from a nutritional standpoint is its amino acids composition. Proteins are composed of amino acids and it is the basic thing of protein, okay. It forms a nutritional standpoint in our metabolism. Proteins are polypeptide chain, okay. Proteins are made up of polypeptide chains as carbohydrates are made up of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen, no. So, likewise, protein is made up of a polypeptide chain and it, it consists of amino acids together. 
okay during the process of digestion proteins are broken down into the stomach in the process of digestion proteins uh, plays a vital role in our body okay it helps in improvising the digestion process and small intestine to smaller polypeptide by the action of proteases proteases is an enzyme which induces the proteins to uh, develop the digestion process okay this is a uh, crucial for the absorption of the essential amino acids in this process the amino acids are absorbed in our body and uh, that can be biosynthesized by our body so protein is the building block of our body and it contains polypeptide chain and amino acids they it gives us more energy than the carbohydrates okay 9 calories per gram they are giving uh, energy to our body they help mainly in our digestion process and this proteases gives a uh, improved metabolic activity in our body there are nine essential amino acids as we have seen before the protein consists of amino acids what are the amino acids which is inside the protein there are nine types of amino acids they are phenyl alanine valine threonine triop tryptophan methionine leucine isoleucine lysine and histidin okay these are the nine amino acids present in the protein next one we are going to see is fats fats are also known as triglycerides which are esters of the free fatty acids chains and glycerol fat is an important food steps for forms of life and so both in structural and metabolic functions okay not only carbohydrates and proteins are essential fat is also i mean good fat is also essential for our growth okay and uh, part of the diet in most heterotrophs what are heterotrophs means uh, we we, uh, we depend heterotrophs depends upon other organisms for their food autotrophs means they prepare their own food okay plants are autotrophs and heterotrophs are animals and human beings okay lipases are the enzymes involved in the breakdown of fats in the small intestine during the process of digestion as the proteins do the fats also uh, play a vital role in the digestion process and in the protein system uh, proteases is an enzyme which involved in the digestion process here lipases are the enzymes which are involved in the digestion process and next one is vitamins what are vitamins we all know about vitamins vitamins are very important uh, a need for our body vitamins are the vital nutrients required in the minute amounts to produce, perform special functions to maintain a healthy body uh, even we can uh, survive without carbohydrates or uh, proteins but we cannot uh, survive without vitamins because they are very important for our growth and uh, without vitamins we can uh, get so many diseases because of the deficiency of vitamins okay an organic chemical compound is called as vitamin when the organism cannot synthesize the compound in sufficient quantities and it must be obtained through the diet if if our body does not have enough protein we can get the vitamins through our proper diet and mineral nutrients in the context of nutrition mineral is the chemical element required as an essential nutrition by the organism to perform various functions necessary for life minerals originate in the earth okay we cannot get the minerals from the food uh, food things or, or anything okay we we get the minerals from earth and they are the constituent of teeth bones tissues blood muscles and nerve cells okay minerals also okay what are the minerals iron calcium likewise these types of minerals are needed by our body okay then only the our body will uh, form a proper uh, diet the five major minerals which our human body needed are phosphorus calcium potassium sodium and magnesium and some traces of minerals are also needed they are sulfur iron chlorine cobalt copper zinc manganese molybdenum iodine and selenium okay these are the trace elements okay which our body requires okay next the main thing is water 
without water we cannot uh, survive in the uh, earth okay so our body also requires much amount of water the more we drink water the more we the more the healthier we survive water is a vital as a solvent in which many of the body solutes dissolve and also an essential part of the metabolic process okay within the body metabolism include two process in the metabolism there are two types of processes anabolism and catabolism in anabolism water is removed to form huge molecules larger molecules in catabolism water is used to break the bonds in order to generate smaller molecules example glucose fatty acids amino acids to be used as fuels for energy use or other purpose without water these particular metabolic process could not be exist okay could not exist okay this is the main part of water and without water we cannot survive we all know that so so far we have seen about carbohydrates proteins fats minerals um, amino acids etc and water okay uh, hope without these okay what will happen if these things are deficient in our immune system okay let us see in the next class about what are the uh, deficiency symptoms of these things okay thank you so far we have seen about the, this lesson health and hygiene hope you understand the lesson and if you have any doubt feel free to ask me and in the end of the session i will be giving you some questions and answers please try to answer this thank you